What's going on YouTube? This is a quick view of Clean ROM 1.6 by Scott over at XDA Developer that cannot pronounce his name on XDA, but you can find it at scottsroms.com. If you want to fast forward to the uh, quick look, just uh, click on the time ab above there. But right now I'm going to show you how to install it real quickly using the new twerp 2.5. It'll wipe, and, and if you watch my last video, you can see here that it'll wipe data, cache, and Delvic all at once. So we're going to do that. Go back, and we're going to install the ROM. And like I said before, on this Galaxy S4, uh, my SD card was kind of old, so I've been putting all the ROMs in the internal memory because it seems to work a little faster and better. It could be just my phone, it could be just my SD card, but anyway, so that is that. Let's go ahead and confirm that. And it is flashing. Um, they have not got their ROM installer going. I don't know when it will happen, but I'm, I'm sure it will be soon. So just hang tight. <coughs> but as you can see, it is flashing. So we're going to uh, fast forward. We'll be back in a second. Okay, it took about two or three minutes to finish. Um, the progress bar didn't move at all, and then all of a sudden it just started moving. And now it's, it's done successful. Let's reboot, get into it here. And Ooh. let's see what kind of boot animation we have. And then we will fast forward. That's the Google edition boot animation. Okay, guys, we're going to fast forward here. All right, well, I skipped some of that, all that sign stuff. I signed to my Wi-Fi. I have no SIM card in. Like I said, it's just a quick view so you guys can kind of see it. But here's the change log, <coughs> or what the, the features, I should say. It's the lightest build possible. Almost all non-essential Samsung and Verizon apps are gone. He added the shutter sound option page rotation on launcher and app drawer, Nexus 7 and 10 ringtones, which I didn't know they had any, cool, tether unlocked, performance and battery enhancements, no CD installer. If you ever plugged your phone in, it'll come up as an installer, which I don't know why, but he took that out, which that is pretty, that is nice, appreciate that, way to go Scott. Okay, changes, 1.6 version, came out July 1st, he added the ringtones from the Google Edition S4, that's cool. The boot animation is from, we saw that, the Google. He fixed force closing with screen mirroring, removed blocking mode, driving mode for now. Um, removed Samsung link, update Gmail, Google now, watch on. Uh, the Odex, I believe I, I think I downloaded the Odex version. And what the difference is, I do not know. I do kind of know, but I'm not going to explain it because I could be wrong. But just go to the forums, check it out, guys. Um, this seems pretty fast. Rumor has it, Deodex is, or, no, I don't know. So I'm going to be quiet. <laughs> well, anyway, here it is. Here it is. You see it. Like I said, there's no customization. It's just nice and clean. You know, it's, it's stable. I mean, there's no tweaks to it, so there's probably no problems because he hadn't really changed too many things. You got the stock camera. Still has all the modes, as you can see there. That's cool. Turn it back around. I think I did that already. What else? Like I said, I just want you to see how fast it is so you can just kind of see interaction. It's not a full review, just a quick look, guys. And I think that is it. So Try to keep this video really short, just so you can see it. Okay, one more thing, guys. I wanted to show you GPS. Make sure the GPS is working. There's Google Maps. As you can see, that it has me in the right spot. Well, you don't know that, but it does. I'm going to check Google now. That works just fine. And that has been the quick look, guys. If you like it, I suggest you install it. Now you know what it looks like, so you can try it out for yourself. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button below. Please subscribe for future videos and have a blessed day.